your hair blowing in the wind. Uh, <laughs> okay. That would be tricky. Well, who are you? I'm Lorenzo. Who? Lorenzo Baca. Baca. And where are we? I'm in uh, San Francisco at the Yerba Buena Arts Center. Okay. It's uh, the day of peace and prayer? Yeah. yeah. This is Father's Day weekend. Ah. And this, this actual event happens once a year, but once today uh, they connected it to the World Peace uh, event, whatever it's called. So, and then what do you have going on here? Well, CDs, it looks like CDs and paintings and jewelry. Oh, yes. Okay, t-shirts. Yeah, I'm a visual, literary, and performing artist. And I was invited to come show my work, and I support this event, exhibit my art, and uh, sell a few pieces here and there. So, yes, <laughs> uh, I get to uh, show my work, sometimes sell a few pieces, and uh, run into friends now and then. And um, so you had a. You uh, oh, where can people reach you? What's your website? Oh, I can, you can find me at, uh, you can email me at lorenzo at goldrush.com or I've got a uh, website that's uh, Native American Designs by Lorenzo.biz. Okay. And, and then, you, yeah. sorry. You can find out more about me there. I think today's an important day. It's also a celebration because it marks eight years that I did some video work in uh, Yosemite National Park. And here you are being videoed. Yes. <laughs> I think video is an important medium for artists. I have a, a series that I do called Native America where I take you on a 30 minute tour of a native event like this one. Uh, I've done eight. I also have a new series called Native Artists that I interview an artist and um, you know that Native artists are still alive and you see their artwork. However, the video that I did in Yosemite was eight years ago during a big time an event there. And I had uh, as much permission as I thought I needed. You know, I had releases. Signed documents and... Releases, yeah. Yeah. And it was just me and my uh, editor. In fact, it was my editor that did the work I just ran into friends and asked them if they wanted to be videotaped and they said sure. Well, a couple years later, someone was unhappy and they called a uh, Park Service cop who interrogated me on the phone. As a result, I got uh, four uh, citations. And it was one class A, three class Bs. They wanted to give me two years in federal prison. Uh, we're four. doing videoing. Yes. Ah. We're doing video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and uh, I entered uh, dangerous a, business. <laughs> yes, I, I entered a structure, and that was a problem for them afterwards. Even though I had permission, so they uh, came after me. Luckily, because I was sick and poor, I had a defender who was pretty sharp. Yeah, nice. And. Uh, Throughout the proceedings, I found different uh, laws, and I, I actually have become a paralegal in those eight years. When we finally came to trial, they took it to trial, eight-day trial. Up to now, the U.S. citizens have spent over $100,000 on this trial. I spent eight years, and about a year and a half of that, I was uh, sick. That's really, really uh, sick. And um, and so and what was the outcome? You told me you were kind of was, smiling earlier. And, uh, well, <laughs> in Yosemite, you understand it's the only park that has its own judicial system, which inherently is going to be corrupt, corrupt cops, etc. It's like if you're for Germany, you'll get a speeding ticket. You weren't speeding, but you're not going to come back to fight it. I discovered all these things as I was going along. Well. The judge in Yosemite found me guilty on two counts. And one of the problems I had with this judge was I really felt that he was prejudiced. And soon after the trial began, 
No, two weeks before the trial began, I found a news article, because I researched him. I wonder where this guy come from? He just seemed so oblivious. Well, he, there was a photograph on file that he had posed for, a story that had him posing with his robe, because it was a, a kind of a, a unique story, a judge in the park. And on the chair behind him was this hangman's news. And I said, to me, that's evidence that he doesn't have a clue. So I asked him to recuse himself. In that trial, I asked five times for people to recuse themselves. It was so sloppy, so unjust. So I was found guilty on two counts. I appealed it to the Eastern District Court in Fresno, where I got like a, a judge that makes sense. And he recused that judge. And they had two choices. One, they could retry, uh, they could drop it, or appeal it. They appealed it to the Ninth District Court in San Francisco. This is all in a span of a couple months. Friday, I found out that it was dismissed. So it's over. Final. Congratulations. Thank oh you. Oh my God. I'm After celebrated. eight years. Just for a video of friends. Ah!